Here at PSI, we engage in research which is aimed at informing public policy decision making, hopefully to improve the circumstances of people living in this country, to improve the economy and so on. Thirty years ago, I was having a brief conversation with Michael Young, who was originally the director of this institute during World War II. And I said to him that, just conversationally, um, I can't abide waste. And he said, that's not very original. Nobody likes waste. So I said, well, what about the waste of daylight? I said, for most of the year, we get up well after sunrise uh, and then come home in the evenings and it starts getting dark and we are prevented from engaging in outdoor activity, playing tennis, taking the dog for a walk, uh, gardening, uh, prevented from doing that because it gets dark. What a waste. He said, ah, that's more interesting. It occurred to me that this is a topic that would uh, benefit very much from research. In other words, looking at all the areas of public policy, private, pr private lives, which would be affected if we were to put our clocks forward by an hour in winter and two hours in summer, that is ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, um, in order to get a better matching of daylight and waking hours. The outcome of that research was quite remarkable. It revealed that the advantages would hugely outweigh the disadvantages. The effect is that you get an extra hour of daylight on every day of the year in the late afternoon and e or evening, depending on the time of year, but you only lose the hour of daylight in the mornings of the winter months only. Uh, because we're getting up well after sunrise in the other months. From a leisure point of view, this would be highly advantageous because, for instance, two groups in the population, namely uh, the elderly and children, would benefit significantly. Um, parents don't like their children going out after dark. We've established that in another area of research that we've done. Uh, old people don't like going out after dark and, in effect, restrict themselves. Dusk acts as a curfew on their, those, both those two groups in the population, and so it would be highly beneficial uh, for them to have that extra hour. Really, really meaningful. And, of course, that would bring in its wake certainly great opportunities for improving health because most of the physical activity that one engages in take place in conditions of daylight so here there would be far more opportunities to do so so beneficial in terms of leisure in terms of health um, and enabling people to make such changes in their lifestyles Other areas which would be beneficial were those relating to road casualties because there is far more activity in terms of travel and transport uh, in the latter part of the day around uh, uh, dusk than there are in the morning. And one of the objections raised to uh, this proposed clock change is the uh, folk memory of between 1968 and 1971. Um, when British Standard Time was used, in other words, we didn't alter the clocks, we stayed on the summertime clock all year round for three years. Uh, the effect of that was, in terms of casualties, was that there was a small increase in casualties among children going to school, and it was for that reason that the Commons uh, voted against maintaining that particular clock change. What they overlooked at the time was that there was a far more significant reduction in road casualties in the latter part of the day. Uh, it's assumed, for instance, that children's lives revolve around going to and from school. Well, even then, the casualties on those journeys represent only 4% of children's fatalities and only 8% of their serious injuries. Far more of casualties among children occur in the latter part of the day. One could argue, well, if that's so, why hasn't government introduced legislation so that the country can benefit from this and the quality of life of everybody in the population can be improved? And the answer is, to a large extent, I think, explained by political considerations. 
the political consideration in this instance is the worry that all the political parties have stemming from uh, consideration of the Scottish vote. Uh, all political parties see the benefits of uh, attracting uh, the Scottish vote because there is such a, a strong influence of, uh, of, of Scot the Scottish vote on the outcome of a general election. Um, the Scots, it is widely thought, um, are against this clock change simply because of its relatively extreme latitude. Public opinion polls remarkably show the following, that in England and Wales the public is four to one in favour of this proposed clock change that I put forward, uh, well now, well over 25 years ago, uh, much more in favour of it, uh, whereas the Scots it's about even, but when one examines, as I have done, the reasons, the justification Scots for, have for opposing the clock change are ones that are clearly reflecting badly informed knowledge of the consequences. For instance, they do regularly cite the fact that we don't want this because it will mean that our children will be killed on the roads on the way to school. Well, I've already just mentioned the, uh, the reason why that is, has such a distorting effect on opinion because, as I said before, there are far more uh, uh, far more travel uh, activity in the latter part of the day. If you get an extra hour of daylight at that time of uh, uh, at that time of the day, uh, on every day of the year, it leads to better lighting conditions, resulting in fewer casualties on the roads. A further advantage of the clock change is the fact that it would result in the harmonisation of our clocks with those in Western Europe, ranging from Spain to right across uh, to uh, Germany and to Sweden. Now that has advantages, not, not very powerful ones, but they are advantages uh, from the point of view of trade, travel and communications with other countries, whether it's for business purposes or for leisure purposes. Again, uh, one could cite another area of benefit, uh, and that relates to crime. Crime is more likely to take place, burglary, mugging and so on. When it is dark, well, th the research evidence shows that criminal activities very rarely occur in the early part of the day around the times of uh, dawn uh, when, and, and sunrise or just before sunrise whereas they certainly increase in conditions of darkness in the later part of the day and indeed uh, research recently carried out by University College London uh, showed that there was a significant increase in muggings uh, at the time of dusk when it gets dark and when, when it gets dark than there is when lighting conditions are improved. The remarkable thing, I believe, is that after we have made the change and everybody has had the experience of the uh, clock change with the lighter evenings, we will look back and think of it, why didn't we do it many, many years ago, because it is so much better. And remarkably, this is a huge benefit to the public at no cost to the exchequer, except perhaps the shoe leather of uh, MPs trotting through the eyes lobby in the House of Commons.